सारा सिंगल एक्सेशन है जो कि कमर्शियल मतलब तो आपको फर्स्ट रफीन की स्मेल भी आएगी आप देखेंगे तो और वो जो है स्पेसिफिकली जो जीत से साथ में अल्कलाइन भी होता होगा पसीने से थोड़ा सा बनानी मुश्किल है ये काम आसान है ये काम इसीलिए सर ये काफी मीना जी आप ये जो प्रोजेक्ट है जिसका जिक्र जुबेर साहब कर रहे थे इसकी सिग्निफिकेंस क्या है वो शायद धीरे धीरे हमें समझ में आएगी क्योंकि बहुत सारे समाज के बहुत सारे वर्ग में इसका शायद अभी इतना कॉन्सेप्ट भी नहीं है और इट इज़ गोइंग टू अकम्पलिश मोर देन वन थिंग्स एट ए टाइम एक इट इज़ गोइंग टू बी द फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड इन इंडिया दो दिस एंटायर रीजन इज एफ्लिक्टेड बाई ड्रग एब्यूज पंजाब जम्मू सो वी आर एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू प्रूव टू दर्ल्ड दैट सब्सटेंस ऑफ अब्यूज कैन बी पुट टू दी यूज एंड वेलफेयर ऑफ द मैन काइंड पर्टिकुलरली एज माइंड the second vindication third the drug which gets developed from this experiment will be of export quality and thereby we live up to prime minister modi's mantra of atmanirbhar bharat fourth humne ek bahut gambhir prayas kiya hai for a wider synergy जैसे आपने देखा अंतरिक्ष में जो हमारी सफलताएं हो रही हैं इस समय वो इसलिए कि वी हैव ओपन अप स्पेस सेक्टर अंडर प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी फॉर प्राइवेट सेक्टर एज वेल सो विद इन टू ईयर्स वी हैव 150 स्टार्टअप्स इन दी स्पेस सेक्टर सेक्टर प्राइवेट स्टार्टअप्स इसी तरह से इस प्रोजेक्ट के माध्यम से भी हम वी आर एंगेजिंग इन अ वाइडर पब्लिक प्राइवेट पार्टिसिपेशन एंड द प्राइवेट एजेंसी इज गोइंग टू बी फ्रॉम कैनेडा तो इसके लिए बहुत चैलेंजिंग था इट टू कस लॉट ऑफ टाइम फर्स्ट टू कन्विंस our private partner to engage with us here in india that to in jammu then to get the government of india's approvals because as all of you know this is a prohibited substance so to convince the authorities that this is going to be put to good use not to abuse that was the second challenge third as dr zubair was mentioning transportation because the transportation of itself invites rule of law so to get special permission to transport it for trials and our fourth stage will be commercialization and through the pharma companies the cultivation process takes about 6 months from the field through the lab development finally up to the pharma shelf it is about 2 months not a long period the drug that is developed is has a special significance for patients suffering from debilitating pains pains particularly resulting from cancers malignancies also cruciating diabetic pains diabetic neuropathy is sometimes a very cruciating leads to depression also in many patients thirdly in case of nerve pains happening as a result of or a follow up of injuries and as we move forward like any any other drug we go to the next generation of this drug we'll also try to minimize the side effects so that the potency of the effect that we want as a pain reliever gets improved and the side effects get reduced so this is uh, and as far as triple im is concerned i don't know how many of us are aware and i think this is something that we need to tell little loudly and blow the trumpet also this is a third major achievement going to be from triple im which is of world level this is same institute which came out with mint tablet which is used all over the world which is not known over here the mint trial was done in the same lab by colonel ramnath chopra the founder of this lab who was later knighted became sir ramnath chopra secondly the aroma mission was also initiated in the same lab lavender cultivation about which prime minister modi spoke in man ki baat for or 7 minutes and third is going to be this landmark and this is going to place jammu and kashmir and jammu as a front line territory as far as medical research and development is concerned particularly in the area of health care in relation to diseases which are now becoming acquiring almost an epidemic proportion 
whether it's the malignancy or diabetes. And I think for the, at the social level, it might have another impact to change the mindset of the people that look at every product which God has given us has certain virtues as well. It is up to us what way we use it. And I think this is going to give a new direction to the utility of this product, which has otherwise become notorious for misuse or abuse. No, no, we will have a license, you're right. It requires approval, and I agree with you. It is a prohibited. You, nobody otherwise, people will start cultivating it rampant and use it as uh, uh, for uh, for uh, addiction purposes. So this is going to be a regulated cultivation for which we had to go through all these approvals. That's why it's taken about two, three years because we had to convince the authorities. First of all, the authorities were not aware whether this can be done because this is the first time we are taking up over here. So we had to give them some instances of places outside India, other places where it was being used for good purposes. Then after getting the approval for cultivation, which they did over here, uh, which you saw, the field you see outside is cultivated. Now the next stage is even transportation is prohibited. Otherwise anybody, so to get approval for transportation, which they have got in principle, in a day or two they will receive the order. And after we are through with that, we are able to carry that product to the lab. Then the third stage would be, and lab we are already, uh, we have already engaged in discussion for trial with Tata Memorial Hospital with Ames. Then the next stage would be commercialization, for which some of the pharma companies have already approached them. But uh, as you said, for that also we'll have to go for another approval. Chandrika is about to die tomorrow. So, how do you see this as a success? So, for the country's president, what is actually the report to them? The Chandrayaan will land around 23rd of August. Tomorrow it's going to enter the next orbit. Actually, what has happened is that after it was sent out, on the 14th of July, its first major landmark was to get out of the Earth's orbit. That having got out of Earth's orbit, it has now entered into Moon's orbit. So when it is, when it comes out of the Earth's orbit, it starts rotating like this. When it is walking out of this Earth's orbit, it is like this. A smaller circle, then a bigger circle, then a four circle. They call it firing orbits. And then after the larger circle, it goes out straight into the moon's orbit. Then in the moon's orbit, it takes a larger circle, then a smaller circle, then a smaller circle, comes closer, closer, about five, six circles. This will be completed by first week of August. Finally, it will be very close in the innermost orbit of the moon. Then it will take about 10 days to exactly locate the spot where it should ideally get landed in the southern polar area. And the landing approximately will happen on 23rd. As we have calculated today, it will be about half past uh, five in the evening, but it could change because change uh, depending on the alignment of the planets. But it's going to be a huge, huge uh, breakthrough. Question related to politics, sir. In Manipur, we have seen the politics has started. The BJP is saying that there is a selective outrage. People are talking about Manipur, the opposition party leaders are not talking about West Bengal and Rajasthan. While the opposition party leaders are saying that they are trying to compare. So, how do you see this kind of a politics over this issue? No, certainly, no, certainly I agree with you. There is no, no reason for politics to be indulged in this. But I think after having heard what Prime Minister Modi ji had to say, there is nothing much to add. He said that on the first day of the parliament while he was addressing the media, he said that no words are less to condemn it. He says the entire nation hangs its head in shame. And he also said that nobody will be allowed to go scot-free. So I think after having been said by Prime Minister what had to be said. There is nothing much to add to it that makes clear the intent of the government, the intent of Prime Minister and his government. But how do you see the selective outrage by the opposition party? No, sir, certainly that selective outrage is because the pri if, if the opposition is trying to find politicking out of it, I think it is for all of us to rise above this. Because this certainly, as Prime Minister said, this is something the entire nation should feel concerned about. And if we try to draw politics out of it, that means somewhere we are actually losing that sense of uh, proportion which we should have exercised. Yeah, 
अगर ये कोई कह दे कि साहब पी ने जो कहा मुझे उस पर विश्वास नहीं तो इसका क्या जवाब दिया जाएगा लेकिन जब प्रधानमंत्री ने जो कहा है मुझे लगता है उसके बाद कुछ उस बात में जोड़ने का कोई औचित्य नहीं है और उन्होंने बड़े स्पष्ट शब्दों में कहा सारे देश ने सुना कि जो भी हुआ है उससे सारा देश शर्मसाज है और किसी को बख्शा नहीं जाएगा नो आई एग्री विद यू दैट इज एन इको ऑफ और पाकिस्तान सिंह सो द क्वेश्चन दैट शी शुड आस्ट इज शी स्पीकिंग फॉर इंडिया और शी स्पीकिंग फॉर पाकिस्तान द होल ऑफ द नेशन इज अवेयर ऑफ वॉट हैपन इन पुलवामा एंड द मैनर दिस वॉज अवेंज ऑल्सो बाई दिस गवर्नमेंट इंस्टेड ऑफ टेकिंग प्राइड इन दैट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डेनीग्रेड आर फोर्सेज आर नेशनलिस्ट सेंटिमेंट एंड अबव ऑल the clear and sincere intent of prime minister modi ne koi threat nahi hai ye inka aapas mein milna hi is baat ka prateek hai ki ye apne aap ko kamzor samajh rahe hain so they are getting together to find out how best to live up to the challenge posed by bjp under prime minister modi और पहले इनसे पूछा जाए कि इनका नेता कौन है इनकी बैठक की अध्यक्षता कौन करेगा